I would think to get to that place, you need to think about how to get your work out there. Nobody's going to just say, I'm going to produce this person's show. So really, you have to think in terms of being your own producer and, and getting your work out there. And whether that's using so social media, using YouTube, using Facebook, whatever those things are, how can you get your show produced so that people can see it? And I think the first show that we did, we, um, we borrowed money from anybody who, you know, any aunt or any, you know, uncle or mom or dad or whatever, just to get our show up on its feet. And you know, we, we took it on a tour to all of these different cities in America where we thought maybe we could get friends to come and see it and just kind of create a certain momentum for our show and ourselves and mailed them to anybody who was interested in musical theater. So really, I think the, the first sort of step is to be your own producer and think, how can I get my work out there in the world? And, um, and once it's out there, then you know, how, how can uh, people begin to listen to it and exchange it? And that yeah. was the first step for us. Yeah, and I think, you know, but obviously, even not, uh, at the same time as that, or even before that, you know, it's hard to say what's good, but like it should be good. But that's what does that mean? But like, I think even as you're thinking about how you're going to get it out there and how you're going to produce it, I think as much time should also go into studying and studying. You know, I think a major thing that we did probably too late, not too late, but we did it backwards. I think we sort of wrote stuff and we said, we're going to get it out there. And then afterwards, we were like, wait, we should. We should really know what we're doing and really know what we're talking about. <laughs> and so uh, we went back, you know, and we still do all the time and studied people like Lynn and Steve and even older um, writers. I think there's, you know, there's not, at least for us at the time we were in college, there wasn't a program we could go to that they would taught you how to write musicals. For undergrads. It didn't at exist. Least, yeah. So for us, it was going back and studying shows and studying musicals that we respected and writers that we respected and trying to learn from them because even though the art form may have changed a lot in terms of the style, you know, like Spring Awakening versus, um, you know, Oklahoma, like there, it's all, so much of it is really following a lot of the same format. The problems and, are still the same. And you, yeah. can, you can find the solution to something that's wrong or something that's, uh, that you can't figure out in your show by looking at Oklahoma. Because even though, what Justin is saying, the style could be completely different, the answer to the problem still exists in Oklahoma that might still be in your show. So you can solve it by, n the more that you know, the more empowered you are to be able to you know, work and find feasible solutions for whatever the modern day issue that you're having is. Yeah, so I think it's equal parts putting in the time to make your craft better while also thinking a million ways. How can I get it out there? How can I spread this? How can I form relationships with people? I mean, the people that we went to school with and worked with, collaborated as teenagers and as, you know, in our young 20s, now those people are all the casting directors and the future directors of Broadway and all this stuff. So it's like forming relationships and knowing that you're all sort of going to come up together with actors, directors, casting directors, choreographers, etc. So, you know, creating those ties at that point and then you can all sort of hopefully rise up together.